for like five and a half weeks. And it felt good making the record. Every day we'd do a song and we were working in this incredible studio with uh, Chikia King, who I forgot to thank, actually. She, anyway, it's all right. It was, it was a producer and the studio was called Blackbird. And it was like our home, you know, there was basketball court and Josh was always a lot better than me and, and I was a lot better than Pete. But, um, you know, it was like at home and, you know, when I had the idea to call it Blackbird, I thought that'd be a nice sort of tip of the hat, you know, to everyone there. And, you know, there's a lot of great records that get made there, so whether they even notice or not, who knows. <laughs> it's an interesting, interesting question because when bands go overseas, particularly to a place like Nashville, which has such a heritage, there's always a, a risk that you might get lost in what's gone before you or get sucked into it. What was the experience like for you in terms of making sure that it was a Dan Sultan record, but made in Nashville with the, the heritage of Nashville? Uh, yeah, I don't know, that's a good question. I'm not really sure. I just I think by the time we were ready to make the record, um, you know, I'd been through a lot. I'd, I'd come out of a big writing slump and, you know, I was in a massive rut and I was writing a lot of songs again and, you know, writing a lot of shit songs. You know, but there, there were, I thought that there was enough there to have a record and to, to work the record out. And uh, the idea was just to get it out. You know, first it was just to be writing again. And, you know, these guys, they're playing other bands as well. You know, and during that time when I wasn't doing this so much, you know, they were always there for me, and they were, once I was ready to come back, they were there for me. And, you know, that's why with Blackbird, especially, I've always made it very, you know, we've been lucky enough to pick up a few things for Blackbird, and I've always made the point that these guys are, it's as much their record as, as it is mine. You know, Josh is the bass player on the record, and Pete's the drummer on the record. And, uh, yeah, so, it's, it's a special thing for the three of us, you know, we played together a long time, and it feels like our first record, really, you know, in a lot of ways. Well, that's great. Congratulations. Uh, any questions? Yeah, Dan, what's your name? Yeah, Kate from West Wing. I'm just wondering what the process was like of recording the new EP, just stripped back sound, you know, stepping away from the band. It was opposite, pretty much the complete opposite to Blackbird. I, I, I sat in a room with some microphones and I had an acoustic guitar and that was it. You know, Blackbird, like I said, took months and months and a lot of production, a lot of overdubs. And this took a few hours. Uh, Dirty Ground took a few hours. So it was the complete opposite. And, I've had some reviews where it says it doesn't go far enough into production and everyone's allowed to have their own opinion but for me that's a bit of a compliment because that's kind of what I was trying to do, you know, I was trying to have it really stripped back. But it is the opposite to both. Yeah. Any other questions for Dan and Pete and Josh? No, going once, going twice, going three times. Ladies and gentlemen, please thank Dan Salt, Pete and John.